Honey Ho Stampers, welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Felder and I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. Today is a deal of the day and today is the fifth deal of the day. I think it's December 5th and um, we are going to be doing all everything about edgers. So we have selected several of our edger dies and we have them on sale for today and today only. All right, so these are some of the edgers that we're going to be looking at. I just want to show you all of them and how different they can be. So this one right here is um, our Christmas tree edger and it is absolutely gorgeous. Do you see this? And I didn't glue this part of it down just so it gives it a little bit more action um, when you get it in the, in the mail. All right, so there's one. And then this one I absolutely love. It's one of our biggest sellers. It is our, um, this one is our birthday uh, celebration. And I did it with um, white cardstock and then I used some of my Copic markers on it to color it. I added some prills to go along with it, some sparkle paper, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a fast card because all you do is just cut out this, lay it onto your card base, um, run this through your machine. And this one I happen to pop up, it's just so pretty. And then I added some of our little glimmer to it. So that one is our Celebration Cake Edger. Remember to hop on over to our blog and you will, all the links are below. Um, you can also take some of your um, designer paper and cut out your image out of the designer paper and add that to your sparkle paper or just to regular colored cardstock at the end. It's so pretty. And then um, that cardstock came from this beautiful set that we've sold a lot of because people just love it. It's called Fabulous florals and they are just absolutely gorgeous look at those just pretty 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 all right so that's fabulous florals and um that this one is our celebration cake edger all of the links are going to be below let's hop on into some of our um winter ones so this one also is a big seller this is our snowman um die and he's also an edger die and what i like to do when i'm doing these is i also i always like to cut out lots and lots and lots of them so this one right here i cut out of our iridescent sparkle paper these right here i sprayed with our beautiful spray that we have it's just gorgeous and then what I do is I just keep them with some layers in here and then when I have to make up a card um, I just take and put them all together so this one I just popped up and added a little red bow it's so cute look at that absolutely adorable I did pop that one up too this one is distressed oxides I sprayed a little bit of spray on it to give it that snowy look in the back absolutely fast and gorgeous Remember, these are all on sale in the shop for today and today only. They'll be there after that while supplies last. So um, don't take a chance on not getting them if you find one that you like. This one right here is our Heavenly Bells. Um, we have sold a lot of these. And then I did use my vertical Merry Christmas with it. I did it on some mirror paper, added it to our, our um, navy blue uh, cardstock. And it's just such a simple card, but so very pretty. Heavenly Bells on sale. All right, the next one that we're going to do, um, this one I love. This one is our um, poinsettia, and it is just so pretty. This is probably one of our biggest sellers, um, and then you can just add whatever sentiment you want. You can do it this way. You can do it this way. Um, it's just so very, very pretty. You can also do them at an angle. You can do one up here and one down here. There's so many possibilities with, with edger dies, um, especially when they don't have an up and down. Um, and what I mean by that, it can go this way. It can go this way. So this one is very versatile. I just added a, a really pretty sentiment with it and um, you're good to go. Again, a very fast card. I use our deluxe glue on it um, because it just makes it so easy if I'm just gluing it down. And if not, I use our, um, our 3D strips to pop it up. All right, and then this one, okay, is also very popular. This, um, my Merry Christmas is um, a big hit. But um, this one I did uh, going up and down. And this one is our Hollyberry Edger. And I, like I said, I always work smarter, not harder. If I'm going to get everything out, I'm going to definitely take and cut a bunch of them. So I cut a white one, and that can go on a green um, card base. This one right here, you can take and make in this piece as big or as little as you want. So um, like for this right here, if I wanted to just cut it off here and have it just a little tiny piece, you can do that too. There's just, like I said, endless possibilities. This one I did at an angle. Like I said before, if you don't have an up and down pattern, 
then you can do it at an angle. And there's some that you do have to do up and down, actually, obviously, like that Christmas tree. You don't want that at an angle unless it's tipping over. Um, but see how pretty that is? I just did it at an angle, but very fast and very pretty, pretty, pretty. This one, because I'm so into slimline cards, I put it on a slimline card. And then what I did was I just cut off the ends to make it a little bit longer. And that is gorgeous. Okay, I did that with the sparkle paper here, and I just did it with the plain green paper there. Both of them very, very pretty. Okay, these are just fast cards. Now we've got um, one that's a little bit different. Okay, this is our snowflake border. Okay, and this is an edger die. Uh, I did it here, again, using the vertical Merry Christmas. Um, you could do it this way. You can do it this way. What I did here was I used it with our little snow buddy. He is so adorable. Um, you're going to take an, and when you get Snow Buddy, you also get this little saying to go along with it. So it is an absolute bonus. So if you get this, you've got it snowing on top of him. I added some of our little Nouveau drops here to make it look like it really is snowing. But little Snow Buddy, he's in the shop also. And this one right here is our, let me see what this one's called. This one is called Snowflake Edge Fancy. All right, so this one is really, really pretty. And remember to, to shop fast because um, these are going um, are going to be sold out pretty quick, I'm sure. And then this one is one of our very elegant edger dies, okay? And it's called elegant edger dies, isn't that funny? And um, it just, like I said, you can have this piece as big. Let me just move this down to show you. It is attached. Um, you could actually put it all the way up to the top, and that way there, you would, um, if it was all the way up to the top, then you could have just a little tiny piece and then more of the green showing down below here. What I did for this one was I added it to the back of the card base so that this was all one piece right here. So, so very pretty. And you can also take in, like I said, this is what it looks like before I added it to my card base, but you can also use it as an edger die. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then decorate the rest of your card, put a little bit of color behind here so that this has color to it. Remember, if it doesn't have a direct up and down pattern, you can lay it any way and make it so unique every time you use it. This one right here is absolutely so elegant, okay? This one is called Wild Rose Edger, and um, it is so pretty. Like I said, you can do it up and down. You can do it sideways. So absolutely gorgeous, all right? Wild Rose Edger right here. Added a little bit of Nouveau Drops. So pretty. The next one is very elegant also. This one is our chrysanthemum border, and it is, like I said, very, very pretty. Um, I actually popped this one up, but you can take and use our our, um, our deluxe glue and just glue it right down. Super simple cards. These border dies are absolutely amazing. In the shop, on sale today. Now, I wanted to show you um, this one because this one is gorgeous, all right? It's called Silent Night. It is one of our bigger ones, and it is so pretty. I used our silver mirror paper. I put it on our darkest navy and it just pops. Then I just used um, our, our white pen. Let me see if I can find my white pen. Here it is. Our little white jelly pen and um, I just put little dots behind it. Super simple card but boy is it striking. I popped this one up so it looks like she's actually flying. Look at the detail in her right in here. It's so pretty. And what's nice about these dies is you will see that there are um, embossed images where um, they're not cut out but they're embossed to show you the detail. And then you have other things that are absolutely cut out. Very, very, very pretty. All right, so that one is called Silent Night, obviously. And let's see what we've got next. Oh, this one is so cute. And I'm gonna show you how to do this tonight. I'm not just showing you things. I'm gonna actually show you how to, to prepare this. But what I did was um, I, I scored it along here and I made it a pop-up card so that when you look at it, you see? So when somebody, so when somebody, um, when somebody receives this, they can actually um, put it on their desk and have it just pop up and, and stay like that. But this one right here is our um, dashing through the night uh, or dashing through the snow, excuse me. And again, look at the detail in this. It's so pretty. Did it on mirror paper, did it on our, um, that was a little unconventional, but I love the way it looks because dear are brown, I wanted to put it on our brown uh, cardstock. All right, so there's that one. And this happy birthday is the one I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, this right here is, you can do it flat like this. So it's just all glued down, but I did pop it up. All right, so this one's flat, added a few little Nouveau drops and called it a day. And then this one right here is also flat. This one is not popped up. So this one's popped up. 
This one is just glued with our deluxe glue, add, added a few Nuvo drops, and like I said, called it a day. But this one is like the Dashing Through the Snow. This little guy right here is um, a pop-up. So what I did was I just popped it up just like that, and now somebody can put it on their desk, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. So when I when I knock these out, you know, when I'm when I'm cutting, I always I always do um, extras so that I can just grab them and make a card as fast as I can. But I can actually take and um, customize it to, to whomever. So if I have a birthday and I want to, yeah, these are a lot of them, and I want to customize it to show or to, to somebody and I'm thinking, okay, she would love these colors or he would love these colors, you know, um, you can just take and do that. All right, so I'm just going to take a couple of pieces of paper here and that's my outside. That is my inside. That's the, I'm sorry, that's the inside right there. All right, and then here is my outside and we are good to go. All right, so what I did was, let's just pick one, any one. All right, so here we'll just take that one. Um, and then you can take a flower, you can take a pearl, you can take whatever you want and um, use that for the inside. So the inside of the card is just basically like this, okay? So I'm just gonna take my adhesive. And yes, I did cut out my flowers from there. So that's why the, the hole is in there, all right? So I'm gonna just take this Add this to my base right here. Add that to the inside of this card right here. This is how fast this is, guys. It's so fun. All right. Add this to here. One, two, and three. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to grab myself one of the pearls. Just put it right here. Okay, and that's going to be our stopper. So I will, I will put this on my blog. I'll show you where I, I um, scored it. But what I want to show you is, is if you, if you cut this and it comes out crooked, all right, there is a way to fix this, all right? So when you go to lay this on, you're going to take and lay it on so that this line right here, so this was cut out. Let's say this was crooked on the bottom, okay, or crooked on the top. I'm telling you this because if it's not straight, I want you to be able to, to work with it so it, you can fix it. All right, so this is a little crooked right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I score this, okay, right here, I am going to take and I'm going to glue this. Now, let me bring in my make art station here. I am going to glue this, but I'm not going to glue any of the top because if I glue the top, then it's going to look like this one, okay? It's going to be glued straight down and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to take some of my deluxe glue here. I'm going to take and glue just the bottom parts right here. This is how fast this is, guys, seriously. Do, 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 do. And what I'm doing is just okay, don't go above that line. That's the line right across there. Don't cross the line. All right, I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there, making sure that all the pieces are going to stay. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and line this strip right here with this line right here, okay? So don't worry if it's hanging off the end because we're gonna trim it, all right? So I'm lining that up with that, okay, just like that. Perfect, perfect, okay, just like that. And then we will take and trim, okay? So now when it pops up, it's gonna pop up just like that, okay? And now we're just gonna trim off the bottom, okay? All right, grab our trimmer. Here and just trim off the excess, okay? So you're not trimming off the card, you're just trimming off the decorative piece, okay? 
There we go. See? Perfect. We've got a little spot on this side, so we're going to trim that piece off, and you're good to go. Now, if you're good and you're, you're, you do it straight, okay, then it's not going to be a problem. All right, you can also do that with scissors if you want to, but now everything is nice and straight, and when you are done, it just pops up just like this, and then you just leave it with your little pearl right there, or whatever decorative little thing you want. We did a, we did a, a, a flower right here and a pearl, but that's up to you. All right, see how cool that is? So pretty. All right, again, um, like I said, these are super easy, super fast. These are your edger dies, and they are good for one day only. I mean, we've got them in the shop all the time, but they're on sale today. And the paper that I used is our sparkle paper. It's like no other paper I've ever felt before. We have them in, in um, colors, um, individual colors, but we also sell variety packs. So if you want a, um, a variety pack to just kind of check out all the colors, you can do that. We also have a holiday pack. Um, if, if you want that. And then we also have Seafoam. Seafoam is not in either one of these two packs. It is limited stock only, so um, you might want to get that also. That's my post for today, and like I said, these are absolutely gorgeous. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us, make sure you subscribe and click on the little bell down there um, at the bottom. Um, if you have any questions or need to get to our blog or our post, there's a little eye in the upper right-hand corner that you can click on, and that'll get you right to the Teaspoon of Fun shop. Hit the thumbs up and make sure you um, share this with your friends. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us. Vicki and I are always here for you. This is just our little business and we and, um, appreciate all of you so much that we are doing this deal of the day for December 2020. So you take care. Thank you again. Bye-bye.